I'm Dr. Y. You're welcome to today's edition of Dr. Y TV series. Today I'll be talking about something serious, asthenopia. Sounds like big English? Don't worry, I'll explain when we are back from this break. Yeah, so, so I said earlier on, we'll be talking about asthenopia. Asthenopia is a medical terminology for a condition that occurs when you stress your eyes. And it's simply called, asthenopia can be called eye strain. When you force your eye to read or to function under an abnormal condition, you have what we call eye strain. Okay. There are several disease conditions that may cause asthenopia. They could range from things like short-sightedness, long-sightedness, astigmatism, and other stuff. But there are several other conditions that are not even diseases that can cause asthenopia. Examples include when you use the wrong kind of glasses. It could either be sunglasses or even the recommended glasses. Other causes could include things like when you actually use a screen for a long period of time, like people who operate on the computer or sit in front of the computer for a very long period and they keep straining their eyes on the computer. It can also cause it. Likewise, people who actually press their mobile phones for a long period of time are also at risk of having this condition we call asthenopia. Other things that could also cause it, it's when you drive under very bright lights, like you're driving for a long period of time and you're in the sun, can cause asthenopia. Also, when you read under poor lightning condition, you can have this condition will cause called asthenopia. People who are fatigued or people who are stressed, they don't sleep, or people do, who did not have good sleep can also have asthenopia. People who have eye strain can complain of eye ache, they can also complain of headache, they can complain of blurry vision, like their vision is blurred, and some may even complain of double visions, like they see things appearing in twos. So I'm going to talk to you on how we manage asthenopia. If you are going to use any glasses, you need to visit the hospital, you need to see a doctor, you need to see an optometrist, you need to see an optician. They are going to evaluate you to be sure that you do not have an underlying eye condition before they prescribe glasses for you. Also, if you are going to use your mobile phone, I would advise you to increase the font or the text size to the size that would be good enough for your eyes so that you don't have to strain so much to read it because when the texts are very small you may have to strain your eyes so much and when you're straining your eyes you'll be hurting your eye muscles. Also when you are going to press your phone in the dark I would advise you reduce the brightness of the screen of the phone or you could also put it on automatic there's an automatic function on the screen of your phone which would automatically regulate it um, depending on the ambience or the, or the illumination of the room in which you are. If you're using a computer and you sit down in front of a computer for a long period of time, reduce the brightness of the screen of your computer, like reduce it to what your eye can accommodate, and try to take a break, like eye break. Most times when you're using a computer, your eyes are all down like this, and once in a while, it's very important to take your eye break and just look somewhere else, or probably go for tea break if you are allowed to in your workplace. Also, do not strain your eye when you want to read. There are some people that they want to read and they, are, they don't have bright lights and all they have to do is, you know, manage or squeeze their eyes. No, it's not, it's not going to help you. It's going to cause you, it's going to make you to strain your eyes. And when you're straining your eyes, you're going to hurt your eye muscles. Like, so you have to try not to strain your eyes when reading and make sure you have good light. If you're going to drive in the sun for a long period of time, use your sunglasses. It's not fashion. It's very important. It could be fashion for some people, but it's important to use your, your sunglasses if you're going to drive in the sun for long. If you're the kind of person that you're driving at night and, and the light is coming too much, some vehicles have this function of you can easily tilt the rear view mirror and once you tilt it, it reflects or it deflects the light away so it doesn't come directly into your eyes and this works most times for vehicles that are behind you so if the vehicle is behind you and the light is disturbing you you could just tilt this up and it will deflect the light away from your eyes directly and if you've tried all those things we talked about you try to use sunglasses and others and you're still having eye discomfort it's important you go to the hospital and visit your doctor so that you can ha get checked. I am Dr. Y, and your health is my priority.